stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Top Test PT520B+. Plus. Uh, this, they are the sponsor of this video today. And smash that thumbs up button in advance. You don't want to miss it. back to the channel we're gonna be gas piping the whole house so they got LP and we're gonna be gas piping from this meter bracket uh, natural gas we're gonna put a T in here for a uh, future generator and then we're gonna go in and shoot up inside basically we're gonna be coming up through here drilling punching a hole through there coming over and then coming over with some counter strike running that down through into this room here then picking up we're going to undo this water heater and then we're going to change this into a T, an extra T for a future gas appliance and then we have to convert the furnace over from LP to natural gas morning Tyler let's get to work hold the trigger and I yeah do that hold the trigger and got the M18 fuel pipe die threader Gotta kind of push on it. Push on it? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, that's good. Now reverse it. Hit that button. There you go. So no more stringing the cords out. Because I got... I bought this... Hobo Freight Special many years ago. I had one earlier than that. This is a central machinery. It did its purpose, but I'm tired of stringing cords out. So I bought that. I did it. This was my very first pipe threader, hand one, REMS, made in Germany. This one's got me out of a lot of jams over the years. But it's time to go to the new technology and go with the M18 cordless pipe threader with the eight amp hour battery high output what do you think tyler how you like it i like it a lot better than the corded one oh yeah good I'm making progress finally got my gas pipe through up and over and now we're ready to i got everything secured bracket i'm gonna put the insulation back and then i'm getting ready to start running my flex my counter strike there's my mechanical joint fitting You know what, Tyler? What? You know what I like most? What? Free stuff. So this here was, this is sponsored by Top Test. This is a combustion, combustion leak detector, PT520B+. It's kind of hard to see outside, but we'll go inside here and you can see it. That's good. So this has got a, it's kind of hard to see out here, but it's zeroing out. It's got a, about a 30 second zero out time. And the sensor is right on the, on the tip of this and it's super flexible. So, and it's pretty, pretty small for what this is. But, uh, yeah, this is a combustible leak, gas leak detector. Easy to read screen, rechargeable, press the zero, measure parts per million and percentage. Uh, measure Celsius and Fahrenheit, 50 to 10,000 PPM, low battery indicator, 10 minutes auto and off, visual and auto alert, and press to mute. Let's see if there's anything on the gas side. Nothing. Let's go inside and see if we can... 
test anything. Well, I must have tightened it up really tight. So let's go down here. I'm going to take it up here. And Nothing. I just turned this on too. So. Great. So Tyler, I want you to shut that off and then lightly crack this union. We're going to bleed it out and test. Okay. Probably a little bit more. Okay, go ahead and kick it on. There's a lot of air in the line still. Smell anything yet? Yeah, I smell a little bit, but... Okay, shut it off. Oh, nope, it's kicking up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to kick it on to parts per million. It's on... And it's on a high setting. Kick it on a little bit. A lot of air in the line still. You'll hear a, a tone difference in tone. Okay, just roll it. Okay, shut it off. Let's see. Here, detect, here, detecting. <laughs> it's going up, yeah. Does it have a noise? Yeah, it's so like I'm trying to. That's on low. So it must be an audible. It's the cross between propane and because we're pushing all that propane out. Yeah. Go ahead and kick it back on again. Slowly, don't crank it all the way on. Now it's starting to smell like more natural gas. There it is. Yeah, there's a lot of air in the line jet. Yeah. So there it is. a little bit up there <clears throat> yeah. catching some up there too so what I'll do let that zero out and then I'm gonna spray some big blue on that it's leaking right there Maybe a couple of booga boogas residual oh, it's, going down. it's going down now yeah. yeah for this little meter um 75 80 bucks on, e on uh, amazon it's not bad for what it is, it's more in reach for the newer tech or homeowner.
must probably be reading more up, up here. It's dropping down now. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and we'll go work on the other one. should be zero. Yeah. All right. Take that back outside and zero it out. Okay, so we're zeroed out. I sprayed big blue on this and I had to tighten it up a couple times. This thing's still reading. I went in there and I sniffed. I didn't smell any natural gas. This is on high. Let me uh See about turning it down to low. Okay, I just turn it down to low and it's zero. Man, this thing's like super sensitive. season smells like heat so I just replaced all the propane orifices the spring and I adjusted it to about three and a half kind of bounce around but it's good so furnace is done and we are all set final thoughts on the top test gas leak detector is I soaked this it was a little loose but I soaked it pretty well uh, with some big blue and it, it's not leaking now and I even smelled it didn't smell any gas um, I also used another Klein leak detector not on camera, but it that didn't go off and so I'm not quite sure how I feel about the top test uh, Leak detector. Um, it's I don't know if it's giving me faulty readings soak this down and this was bubbling before but I it's not bubbling now um, so yeah I, I don't know I have mixed reviews on this on the top test uh, leak detector so leave your thoughts and feedback down below and if you got any value out of this content smash that thumbs up button it's starting to rain and we have another gas pipe meter to go gas pipe not a whole house thank God um, I got to seal that up and so yeah, we're going to be playing in the rain for a little bit. See you on the next one.